Hi everyone, I'm Kristen Herzog, a professional abstract painter. Welcome to Chapter 8. We are still in the pink here, looking at a whole range of Charbon Extra Fine Acrylic Colors that I will classify as pink. And there is quite a range. Charbon are a high quality acrylics made in France, and I think we should stop here and talk a little bit about the quality part, because it has a big effect on your painting. All paints are made up of pigment and binder. The expensive part is the pigment that gives your paint color. The binder is what keeps the pigment together and makes it easy to smoosh around. You may have seen pictures where old masters of yore were grinding up pigments to make a powder. They would mix the powder with binders like oil or egg yolk to make the paints. Well, today isn't your anymore, and we don't have to grind pigments, thank goodness, unless we want to. And also, we now have acrylic binders, which are a kind of plastic. But the basic principle is the same. The more pigments you load into the mix, the better your color will be. It's like making the sandwich with one slice of ham versus making one with five slices. Which would you rather eat? The reason I'm going on about this is that there are a whole lot of brands on the market today and you need to understand the differences. If you are older than age 8, you probably should not be using student grade or craft paints for your fine artwork. Sometimes student grades are labeled studio and sometimes the label just has no information. Studio paints have their uses, but if you are doing fine art painting, you will likely be disappointed with them and not even know why. To choose high-grade paints, look for the words artist or professional somewhere in the description. I have even phoned manufacturers if the label is vague. Lots of people will tell you the bargain paints are fine, and believe me, I've tried using them. But with a few exceptions, when your work dries, the colors will look flat. You can probably get by sometimes with, say, a white or a black, but the other colors just die. Even if you are only learning, you want to have every advantage possible. Using colors that go flat is like shooting yourself in the foot at the start of a race. Why would you do that? The whole point of painting is to make a fabulous image. You can't get there with most bargain paints. Also, artist quality paints will be archival, more light fast, and have a spectacular range of colors. Which brings me back to Charvin. If you go to Jerry's Artorama website and just look at the range of Charvin colors, you can't help falling in love. The colors are gorgeous, nuanced, subtle. And best of all, if you wait for a sale, you'll find they are very affordable. Next week, we'll be back to talk about Eva's Pink from Charbon. This is a surprisingly useful color. Thank you for visiting. I'm Kristen Herzog, and you can see more of my work at www.kherzogart.com.